Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am wrapping up my top 10 beauty products of 2021. I know that the year just ended. I know when you're seeing this, it will be January. Happy New Year. And I want to talk to you about some of the best products of the year. Some of them are new launches. Some of them are products I've been using all year long. But in general, these are... I'm looking at this and I could basically be happy using this and nothing this for my makeup and being completely satisfied. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe because I upload every other day. That'll be the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So if you want to jump into my Best in Beauty 2021 Makeup Edition, stay tuned. All right, so I did use a lot of these products today. I did not use all of them. And I'm gonna talk through my absolute favorites one by one. First, this is a product that I get a lot of questions about and I don't always answer it. This brush is a game changer. This has become my favorite bronzer brush just because I will take the flat side and pull bronzer at the temples. Then I'll use the flat tip just to buff out a bronze contour area and it is just so perfect for getting the perfect sculpt. This is the 10 year anniversary brush from the brand Base Blue. It is a wooden handle. It is such a luxury brush. And I think it's like, I don't even know the price. I'm gonna link everything down below because I honestly don't remember, but it is so beautiful. It was sent to me. Actually, Jotty gave me this one because they sent her two. So mine says Jotty on it. And thank you, Jotty, for sending this. It is such a beautiful brush for getting the most sculpted bronzed effect Ever. All right, this is in no particular order. Next, this came in, it's an old product and it's been around for a long time, but this came in the BoxyCharm Boxy Lux box of December. This is from Ofra. This is the On The Glow Highlighting and Bronzing Palette. This is not new. They've had this for a very long time. I just never got it. And I had a lot of these products individually, but to have all of them in one place is so perfect. It's like $150, but it's totally worth it. I have been really, this is upside down. I have really been liking, we're gonna flip this so that the labels are on correctly. I have been loving the Blissful Highlighter because it's a little more rosy pink. I love a rosy topper on the cheek. The Americano Blanc Bronzer is also the perfect bronze tone for so many different shades. Rodeo Drive is a cult classic. The Triangle Dream, you blend this together for the mo most beautiful warm blushy bronze. You just get so many different highlighter and bronzer options that this is such a staple if you're a working makeup artist or you just really love makeup and like to play. It's nice to open this in front of you, see all the options and be like, all right, which bronzer am I using today? Which highlighter am I using? What do I wanna make myself beautiful with? And then just going with it. It is so stunning. While we're talking about highlighters, two or three years ago, I was raving about the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. It is such a beautiful formula. It is probably the most beautiful highlighter I've ever used. And I was so upset when it was discontinued until I found the Revlon Skin Lights. It is the exact same thing. It's the same color. It feels the same. It even has that same wavy texture in the formula. Like I'm gonna take a little on one finger and this one on the other. And like these two are identical. Cannot tell where one starts and one begins. I'm obsessed. I love that I have the product that I've already loved and will never get rid of, but that I have an affordable version that you can still buy that's like 10 bucks. This one was like 40. Either one is beautiful. If you have this one, keep using it. But if this one broke or you never got it, or for some reason or another, you wanted to get your hands on it, Revlon Skin Lights, so perfect. Jumping into eyeshadows. Now I have a very cool toned eye on today because lately I've been doing super warm tones and that is because of the Beauty For Real Golden Hour eyeshadow palette. This has mango butter and vitamin E in it so it's nourishing for the eyes. The one thing is it is a very warm toned palette. I've gotten a lot of love out of mine. I use it all the time. I've been doing so many gold smoky eyes and gold eyeshadow looks and so many of you have commented about how I used to only do these like taupey, gray, smoky, cool tone brown and then this came out in May of last year and it's all I would use. I would keep going in to this warm, coppery, golden, bronzy tones. I'm obsessed with it. It's one of the best eyeshadow formulas ever, and I'm just waiting for them to come out with a cool tone version because I love a cool palette, but this made me stick to warms. Since I'm talking about my favorite warm tone palette of the year, I'm also gonna talk about my favorite cool tone palette of the year. This is from Aether Beauty. 
they had a rose quartz palette that was absolutely beautiful and it had 10, uh, 12 colors in it and then they tweaked it a little bit and they re-released it as a 10 pan palette. And I like the new one so much more. The colors are a little more taupey, a little more gray tone. They have some nice soft purples. It's a little washed out on camera, but I promise you it has some beautiful pigmentation. And I just love how this like taupey, ethereal, cool tone, purpley palette sits on the eyes. I've done reviews on this. I've done tutorials with this. It is beautiful. And when I look side by side at these two palettes together, I get my cool, I get my warm, and I am totally happy. I do want to give honorable mention. I don't know if it's still available, but they did also come out with this palette. This is the Moonlight palette, which has crushed sapphires in it, and it is a bright palette. So we've got warm, we've got cool, and we've got bright. It is such a stunning palette. You know how much. I mean, you guys have been making fun of me for years how much I love a purple smoky eye. This palette, as you can see, is perfect for a purple smoky eye. Now this was released in the Ipsy X Halsey collaboration takeover box and they have the shade Libra in it named after Halsey and I think that that's really cool and it was just a beautiful palette and it is limited edition. I believe it's still available. If you didn't get it, I do recommend getting your hands on it because it is that good. But this one is definitely available. It's one of their like forever palettes and it is amazing and this palette is also amazing. So any of the three and you'll be happy. Warm, cool, bright. Halfway down, we are down to the last four. My lips have been so dry lately, and I know so many of you deal with that. The Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer has been a game changer for me. I put it on in the morning, I put it on at night. Today I have a gloss over a matte lipstick, and I put this on before. Conditions, hydrates, plumps, doesn't tingle, doesn't burn, but it just gives you the most beautiful lip hydration effect ever. A friend of mine who I actually did her makeup on my channel over a year ago. Her name's Elizabeth. Actually, it was April 2020 was the last time I filmed with her. Anyway, she lives in Chicago, and she was telling me how dry her skin were, how dry her skin was. Words are hard today. And I had a couple extra of the Jouer Lip Enhancers, so I did send her one, and because I stockpile things I like. And she told me it changed her lips, and overnight, she saw a difference. So if you're experiencing dry, peeling, itchy, flaky, cracking lips, Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer, game changer. All right, next, for complexion. First, I do have to give a very, like, this isn't an honorable mention. This is like a, you got to give credit. The One Size Powder Foundation. This has become a powder foundation, a setting powder, a refresh powder, a touch-up powder. This is just fantastic for any and all of the above. When I'm using it for setting my makeup, I like to go in with a big fluffy brush. I will, like, take a light pad and just kind of press it over everything. If I'm using it as a refresh, I take a small fluffy brush and I pick up a very small amount and I'll like tap it off and I will just lightly stipple it over anywhere I need to pick up some oil. And then if I'm using it as a powder foundation, I actually like to use, you can use the powder puff that they make, but I actually prefer to use the one, not one size, this is one size, the Makeup Forever Velour Puff because this is the one that came with the Makeup Forever setting powder. The way I like to use it is I will pick up the product here and then, just to show you, it will cut the cheek and just add that coverage there. It doesn't soak into the powder puff. It really sits on top of it nicely, and it blends into the skin beautifully. The one pro tip I will give you if you are using the powder foundation as a powder foundation, once it's on, mist with your setting spray and grab your damp beauty blender and press it in. That is going to activate the powder, turn it into a smooth finish so that it becomes your skin and not powder on top of your skin. Especially if you're drier, that mist and pat is going to make it the most beautiful finish ever. And on the days I don't do powder foundation, I, it's kind of an even split between what I do. MVP from Beauty For Real, still my all-time favorite. It is a tinted moisturizer. It is medium coverage. It only comes in six colors, but they are so forgiving. They go from very fair to very deep, and they are amazing. Primer, SPF, and complexion, plus you've got the formula in the tube and in the cap is a cream full coverage concealer that I like to use as an eyeshadow base as well as concealer for the under eyes. It smooths, it hydrates, it is absolute perfection. These are the best complexion products of, I want to say ever, but definitely of 2021. The last two are going to be the most shocking. 
For years, I complained about hating cream products, and these are two creams that definitely made me change my mind. Now, the first is new. This is from Tower 28. This is the Super Dew No Shade. Tap generously onto the high points of the face for hydration and glow. Technically, it's a cream highlighter, but that's not how I use it. You can use it on the high points to give yourself some glow. The way I use it is I will take it on my beauty blender, and I will actually press it over the entire cheek. I had posted a video with this on Flip. I'll have the link down below for my flip if you want to see it. And I put it over my cheek. And I was like, yeah, let's put on a highlighter. And somebody commented, I don't see it highlighting much, but it perfected your skin and you look poreless. And I looked at that video again and it absolutely did. Look at the side I didn't do to the side I did. Here, there's still some texture. My pores are there. Like, it's not as perfected. But once you take this and you just press it over, it melts all of your makeup into the skin. And then with whatever's left, I'll just hit the high points of my face. Can always mattify later if I'm a little shiny, but the amount of perfection I get from this, this is like the perfect all over face balm just to perfect and make everything look flawless. And the last cream I've mentioned many times, I got this in a BoxyCharm like two years ago. And then this past year, I was fortunate enough to attend a makeup class that BoxyCharm hosted with Natasha Denona. It is the Natasha Denona Bloom Palette and she showed me how to use this. And I was using it wrong. And it is so easy. You take the cream and you pat it out, but it looks like... So I was using the lighter shade originally because I thought that this was way too dark. It is absolutely not too dark. It looks like it is. But when you apply it to the skin and you blend it out... Sorry, I can't see what I'm doing when I blend that way. It just gives you the most beautiful flush of color to the skin. That's not bad. That's a color I can get away with. And I thought it was going to be too dark. And again, I swatch with my finger. When I take a little bit on the butt of a sponge, I get much less than this. So I will press it twice and then pat up, pat up. And then with the clean side of the brush, clean side of the sponge, just pat it out and it perfects everything. You get the most beautiful luminous blush. Then I take either of the diamond powders which are the Duo Glow, which is like an orangey highlight, which is still very pretty and peachy, or the Glow Extreme, which is just champagne sparkle. And either of those on the high points of the cheeks on top of that blush just make everything come together in the most beautiful way possible. And pretty much with all of that, I can do an entire face of makeup. Those are my top 10 picks for Best in Beauty, specifically for makeup 2021. As always, I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below what are your absolute favorites, what are the products you discovered this year that are ride or die that you will never replace, and what are that good that you just can't live without them. Let me know, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.